Hi, hi. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Takesha, and we welcome to Care to Prevent's workshop. Let's talk about prep. We're going to talk about the myths versus the facts. Outline today: What is prep? Why should you take prep? Uh, who can take prep? Prep myths, prep facts, types of prep, prep versus uh, pep versus prep, prep and STIs. Uh, and if you can't afford prep, we have resources for you. Okay, sorry, you hit the kid in the background. Um, introduction, what is PrEP? Uh, what do you know about PrEP? Do you know all the facts that will keep you uh, keep you to decide if PrEP is the right choice for you? PrEP is short for uh, pre-exposure prep uh, prophylaxis. PrEP is a pill that is prescribed to reduce the risk of getting HIV. So um, uh, study shows that taking PrEP as uh, prescribed reduce the risk of acquiring uh, acquiring HIV by 99%. According to, to, according to the CDC, PrEP is 74 effective at reducing HIV transmissions among those who, uh, who do injection drug use. Who can take PrEP? PrEP is for anybody that uh, is for anyone that is considered to be high risk. Um, are you a female? Yes, you can take PrEP if you are high risk. So uh, are you at risk of getting HIV? So please talk to your doctor about uh, is PrEP right for you? Is PrEP just for same sex couples? No, anyone that is at risk of getting HIV, anyone who is sexually active with more than one partner and who does not use condoms or other form of protection can take PrEP. Is PrEP just for sex workers? PrEP is for anyone that is at risk of getting HIV. PrEP can be for those who have a positive partner or partner with an unknown status. So if you do not know your partner's status, you can talk to your doctor about getting PrEP. Contact, uh, please contact your doctor to talk to more about PrEP or if that's the right option for you. Or you can give us a call uh, here at Care to Prevent at 773-795-1680. Why should you take a PrEP? Here's a list of reasons. PrEP reduces the risk of getting HIV when taken and monitored properly. Understand, taking PrEP and uh, take and monitored properly can reduce the risk of uh, getting HIV. So if it's done, pro if it's taken properly and done properly, yes, you can reduce your chances of getting HIV. PrEP is highly effective at preventing um, HIV transmission from sex and injection drug uh, use when taken daily. So when you ask about why should I take PrEP if I'm doing injection drug use, injection drug use uh, also you can transmit HIV when you're doing injection drug use. So that's why you want to take PrEP if you're doing injection drug use. So if you did not know that you could transmit HIV through injection drug use, yes, you can. You can also have a peace of mind that you don't uh, that you won't contact HIV if you don't know your partner's status or if you just uh, happen to share needles with somebody you don't know their status. So those are some good reasons to why you should take prep. Myths: Taking prep as needed. Mm -hmm. uh, prep is not. Um, what are those pills? Oh, I'm, I need it today because I'm going to have sex today. No, that's not the ideal message for PrEP. You should take PrEP as it's prescribed. So PrEP is prescribed that you take it once uh, once a day, day uh, once a day. So that's when you should take it. You do not take PrEP, oh, if I'm going to have sex today. No, it would not be effective if you're only taking it the days that you're having intercourse. Uh, take PrEP the day of sexual intercourse, it would be effective. No, you have to take PrEP consistently. It take, PrEP is taken every day. So if you just take it the day that you have intercourse, it will not, it will not be as effective. Okay. Not having to use protection. No, you still need to use protection. Why do you need to use protection? Because you do not want to uh, risk of having unplanned pregnancies or you do not want to get things such as STI infections. PrEP do not protect you against pregnancies and STI infections. PrEP is only for those with multiple partners. No, if you are a person that's having unprotected sex, you need to, you can consider PrEP. Only for gay male couples. No, this is a myth. PrEP is not only for gay male couples. It's for anybody that's at risk of getting HIV. PrEP isn't affordable. Uh, PrEP is affordable and we will give you some resources if that you do not. You have to take PrEP for the rest of your life. No, that's not true. Uh, when you go to your doctor, if you decided that uh, during a current moment, if you stop having sex or you go abstinence, you talk to your doctor about these things to see if PrEP uh, is removing PrEP is the right option for you. Let's talk about facts. 
PrEP is for anyone that is at risk of getting HIV. Yes, this is true. PrEP is covered by insurance. Yes, this is true. So if you have insurance, just go to your doctor and talk about you getting PrEP and whether the other options uh, in case your insurance might not cover it all, but your insurance does cover PrEP because it's a prevention method. While on PrEP, you need to be supervised by a doctor. Yes, because you have to have your kidneys uh, functions checked. So you do need to be monitored by your doctor. The side effects are manageable so you might have some vomiting a little diarrhea a little heck so, but these things are uh, manageable so they're not nothing life-threatening prep is not the same uh same thing as pep uh, on the next slide we would discuss what pep is versus what prep is okay the uh, the types uh the types of prep Currently, uh, that's currently on the market. You have Truvada and Discovy. Um, then you have long lasting prep that's still in the making. This would be given uh, intramuscularly. PEP versus PrEP. PEP is what we call po uh, post uh, exposure prophylaxis. Uh, this is a pre this is prescribed starting with the seventy two uh, hours known as uh, known seventy two hours for a no or not. Uh, are unknown uh, exposure to HIV. So when you get it prescribed to you, you have to start it within 72 hours. So you cannot hold on to the prescription. You cannot have the prescription at the pharmacies. No, you have to start this within 72 hours of being exposed to HIV. Um, PrEP is used for unknown exposure. So say like if you have, you're working or you get a needle stick or say like if you're a person that was sexually assaulted and you do not know the, you will, you might not, you would not know the person's uh, uh, status. So this is why you would take PrEP. PrEP is not a, uh, a long lasting drug is only taken for 28 days. So once you finish the 28 day regimen for a PEP, you can move on to what we call is PrEP. PrEP is pre-exposure prophylaxis. This is what we use to prevent HIV. Consider taking PrEP if you have a partner with an unknown status or you have multiple statics, et cetera, uh, that would consider you to be high risk. So if you're female, if you say sex couple, if these things that fall in a category, talk to your doctor about this. This pill is taken once a day until you and your doctor feel that it is right for you to stop taking it. Prep. PrEP does not protect you from everything. Note that PrEP, you still need to use other form of protection like condom, um, external and external. Internal uh, is the ones, that's the female condoms that you insert on the side of you. You can use those uh, vaginally and anally. You can use those, uh, those, um, those type of protection. PrEP does not protect you from getting sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis, trichomonas, herpes, uh, HPV, or genital warts. So no. PrEP does not protect you from these things. PrEP does not protect you against unplanned pregnancies. Can't afford PrEP. PrEP is afforded in many ways. Here's a list. We have the Illinois Pre-Exposure uh, pre Prophylaxis of what we call www.prepforlove.com, Ready, Set, PrEP, Patients Advocacy uh, Foundation uh, re a co paper release. This program says it pays up to 7500 uh, $7, for PrEP. Assistance is based on your income. The Gilead program, who pr where PrEP comes from, uh, is also a co-payment assistance program. So if you have problems paying for PrEP, take a look at these uh, Take a look at these uh, resources that I gave you and then um, go on their website. Uh, like I said, if you have problems, um, if you don't understand yourself, get in contact with Care to Prevent where we can navigate these things for you. So here go the resources um, that we did from CDC, um, you know, Prep Illinois. So thank you for tuning in to our workshop today and where I will see you next week. Bye.